what up, keys? Andy Lip here, back with a quick tips video. And today we're looking at browser sources inside of OBS, using them whilst they are just put in to OBS. So as a source, you can't click on it, but using this feature, you can use it. So let's jump into OBS and add a browser source. I'm gonna go to sources, add a browser source. I'm just gonna call it browser for now, and I'm gonna type in Twitch. TV. This can be absolutely any URL. I'm going to put 1920 by 1080 and I'm going to control the audio via OBS. Press OK. Make it full screen if I want to. And you can see we can't click on anything on this page because we're only moving it around on the canvas. If you right click on the source and press interact, it brings up a separate window. Which now inside this window, we can go and join different streams. We can um, hit start watching if we need to. We can pause videos. We can type in somebody's chat or something like that. So good use cases of this, it would be if you kind of want to show a website on stream, but you don't want to display your whole entire screen or anything like that, this is an easy way to do that. It's fully interactable. You could put that onto a different monitor if you had that and just use the website as normal without displaying your whole entire screen. So it's quite a cool little feature. Not many people know it. So if I've helped you out, make sure you do like the video. Also subscribe because I've got a ton of different features that I do want to showcase on the channel. So put your rock into the stone. Cheers, guys.